And so those places, I think, will actually see more people. If, if there's mm-hmm. enough housing built for them, which is a whole other problem, um, more people will move to those places. But there will, will also be a move, and we're seeing this with remote work, where you don't have to be tied to the office. And so in the past where you maybe had to go work in, in an office building um, five days a week, you maybe only have to do it one day a week or two days a week. And that might let you live two hours away, in a, maybe in the town you grew up or maybe in a in a smaller or mid-rise community, uh, a mid-sized community. So I think we're definitely going to see some of that. I think the biggest trends are people demanding that they should be able to walk to do their everyday needs. They should be able to bike to do it as well. Mm-hmm. And that you know, cars are really expensive and they can be fantastic. I'm not here to say we should get rid of all cars. I drive a car sometimes when I need to, and it can be a really useful tool. But we wouldn't build our world around being able to hammer in uh, loose nails, right? If every building had loose nails that just needed to be hammered in, you'd be like, ah, that doesn't seem safe. You know, it, it's great that we have these hammers to get <laughs> to nail these these buildings in, um, but we probably shouldn't have that many buildings that could collapse. Um, and the same way with cars and highways. It's great that we can get around by cars, but when we orient our entire communities around cars, that seems dangerous and not doesn't really make full sense. You know, between communities, great. If you're going to the, to a farm, if you're going, you know, out to certain uses, there need to be roads, there need to be highways, and there need to be emergency vehicles in communities too. We still need cars and vehicles in communities, but not to the extent that they are. And I think there's a lot of people who are finally questioning that because they might go on Pinterest or Instagram or TikTok and see a really lovely city or a town and go, hey, why don't we have that in our backyard? Why can't I bike in my backyard? Um, and so I think that's the biggest trend. And then I hope on a, on a smaller scale, there's a trend for making those places beautiful. So it's not just enough to be able to walk or bike where you need to go, but that the whole way is really lovely and that you feel inspired by those journeys. You know, just, just going to the grocery store doesn't have to be a mundane thing. It could be a moment of profound joy. <laughs>